Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadas. That's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly called God in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would like to also give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom to the hopeful elect, the men that are scattered, that the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth scattered throughout the four winds of the world. To you, I say shalom. Okay, the title of this lesson is Not in My Lifetime. Really? Because you got a lot of jakes out there. When you tell them of the things that are happening, all right, literally these things are happening in your lifetime, or things that are happening in the things the prophecies that are going to happen, Jake always likes to dispel it with not in my lifetime. Well, that won't happen in my lifetime, or I'll be dead and gone by the time that happens. No, all these things are happening. Okay, do you see the sedition amongst men, the sedition in the streets? You see the uprising of the people. Okay, you see UF, excuse me, chariot sightings, which you ignorantly call UFOs, which are the chariots of the Most High. Okay, and the main thing that people say never in their lifetime is the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. That they don't think that this devil Esau Edom, okay, is going to put a physical mark, which is the RFID chip, and try to put it in every human on this planet, everything on this planet, every living uh, uh, animal, a uh, 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 person on this planet, they're going to try to chip, okay, and they, and and you tell Jake this, you tell our people this, and they say, not in this, not in my lifetime. All right, well, I'll be dead and gone when that happens. And the Lord is preserving a lot of Israelites. Like, you know, you you you, you ever, in in life, you read some old jakes that you know was wicked back in the day. They're wicked now. And you're like, damn, man, the Most High is preserving this person. The Most High is preserving a lot of old jakes, a lot of old bottles for destruction. They should have been dead years ago, but the Most High is preserving them. All right, so let me hop right into the scriptures because that, that's a spirit. That's really a demon that's out there where Jake thinks this, you know, these prophecies, the coming of uh, the second coming of Yahweh Shai is not going to happen in their lifetime. And, and we see everything have unfolding right before our eyes. Look, man, the Lord is. Let me grab this real quick because this really is for the elect. All right. Um, this is uh, Matthew 24. And um, where is it? Mm, 24 and 22 and expect those days be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened the days are being shortened so you're going to see all these things and you're going to see all these prophecies take place in your lifetime okay whether it be now or which prophecies are unfolding like uh this great uh, uh pandemic that's taking place which is only going to get worse it is only going to be more uh, um, diseases out there that Esau is going to release, all right, the, to kill off the to kill off uh, uh, um, the majority of the people, which is a part of their um, this, which is part of their depopulation New World Order agenda. Okay, so the days are being shortened, all right. But let me grab um, first scripture I want to grab is the book of Ezekiel chapter twelve and some last two verses. And it reads, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, say, the vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesied for the times that are far off. So basically saying that you, you Jakes, think that the things that we're saying is, is not is not in this time, okay? That these things are, uh, uh, are many days to come, you know, won't happen in my lifetime, all right? That's 20, 30 years, 40 years down the line. A hundred years, you know, a hundred years down the line. No, these things are happening right now. Okay. These things aren't far off. There aren't for many days to come. They're right now, right? In the prophecy, a lot of you Israelites, prophecy is going to be at your doorstep. Okay. And you're going to have a, a, a Gerger troop, a martial law troop, kick down your door and take you and your family. Okay. You're going to have military tanks on these corners and they show you in the movies. They clearly show you what they're going to do in the movies. And you see it as entertainment because a lot of you Israelites aren't spiritual. You're not looking at things in the spiritual aspect, all right? You're not looking at things in the spiritual uh, point of view. You're looking at things as entertainment. Yeah, Esau is going to entertain you all right. You're going to be a part of, of the the the, uh, uh, the downfall and the destruction of America. You're going to be a part of the Most High's movie uh, um, where, where the Most High uh, destroys this place. Okay, verse 28, therefore say unto them, thus saith the Lord, 
power. There shall none of my words be prolonged any more. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord power. All right. So every 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 prophecy in these scriptures must be fulfilled. OK, all, all the things the Lord has spoken must be fulfilled. OK, let me grab this. Isaiah. Um, 55. Um, no, so like it. It's 58. Um, let me see. Damn, where's that scripture at? Um, so like, okay, let me find the scripture real quick. Actually, yeah, it wasn't 55. So like, yeah, uh, verse, um, Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. And we're speaking the words of the heavenly father through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay, but it shall accomplish that which it which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. All right, so the, the words of the heavenly father are, 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 are faithful and true. They're going to be, they're going to come to pass. Okay, and, and all these prophecies are going to happen in your lifetime. All right, there's a lot of jakes out there that that it's like the scripture says, men shall um seek death and not find it. Okay, there, hey, there's a lot of jakes out there that's suffering right now from a uh, cancer or or some kind of disease, and they're waiting on it. Pretty much, the heavenly Father's preserving a lot of wicked ass Israelites out there to receive judgment. Okay, whether it come in the form of one of these uh pestilent diseases, all right, a, a famine, okay, a, a dying of starvation. Um, also, uh, uh, the sword from Esau and ultimately the thermonuclear fire or, or concentrated fire from a chariot. OK, that's what a lot of you, you wicked ass Israelites are wake, waiting for. All right. That's why the Heavenly Father is preserving you. Um, let me grab this real quick. Ecclesiastes 7, actually 8. And um, oh, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the son, therefore, excuse me, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. All right, just because a lot of you jakes ain't been jacked up for the wickedness that you've done, all right, don't think that it ain't going to happen. Don't think that you're going to escape. Don't think that, uh, you know, the Heavenly Father forgot. The Heavenly Father hasn't forgot, all right, and it's your time right now to repent, okay? Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, that fear before Him. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall. So say a sinner do a, says do a sin a hundred times, and his days be prolonged. Okay, um, don't think like I said. Don't think that the Heavenly Father forgot. Don't think that you know all the destruction, all the uh, 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 the famine, and all these these plagues that the Heavenly Father is sending amongst America and other parts of the world is not going to happen to you. Okay, uh, verse twelve. Though a sinner, actually, um, let me see, verse 13, but it shall not be well with the wicked, the wicked of our people, okay, and the wicked of Esau, okay, because a lot of, you gotta understand, East, these Edomites, they aren't spiritual, but they could see um, these things happen, happening, okay, they could see the, the uh, possible famine, that's why you got a lot of Edomite preppers out there that store up and stock on, stock up on food, and have guns and weapons, and have uh, bunkers, because, you know, they, they, they could see the things that are ha taking place. Okay, but you Israelites, you can't see it. Okay, you Israelites are are are, are you know you're spiritually the Most High spiritually block your eyes from uh, um, being being able to uh, um, to see the things that are taking place. Okay, but it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. And a lot of you Jakes do not fear the Most High. All right, you lack faith, you lack wisdom. All right, wisdom of wisdom of the Scriptures. All right, I, I people love the wisdom of this world. The wisdom of this world to teach you that, you know, this should th th these prophecies will never happen in our time. This is Habakkuk uh, chapter two, in verse um, two. And the Lord answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it." All right, these visions are plain. It's plain that you can see that Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is the devil. It's plain that you can see that we're in the transition. From uh, Esau being brought down and the Israelites, all right, uh, uh, coming up, all right, all right. It's plain to see. It's, it's not a. It's these prophecies 
are, you know, the scriptures are a mystery, but the prophecy, the prophecies coming to pass aren't a mystery. All right. You can, you can, you can clearly see that the mark of the beast, all right, which you're going to need to buy and sell is the RFID chip. All right. That, that's plain as day. But some Israelites are minds are blocked from seeing that prophecy. Verse three, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. And at the end, it shall speak. And we're at the end and it's speaking. These prophecies are speaking loud and clear. OK, and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it because it will surely come and will not tarry. These hey, these prophecies are not tarrying any longer. OK, hey, we're in that time. We're in the, the, time, the end times. All right. Let me grab this, First uh, Thessalonians 5, and at the top. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves perfectly know that the day of the Lord is, the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right, that's why the Heavenly Father is coming like a thief in the night. Because with these prophecies and his return, because you, you Jakes ain't looking for him. All right, if you if you were looking for a thief, you outside your window looking, you, you checking all the, uh, you know your your locks and everything. You're gonna know when the thief is coming, all right. But our people, it, it our people are you know they're not looking for the coming of the heavenly Father. They're not looking. Excuse me. They're not looking for the coming of Yahweh Shai. All right. They're not looking. Uh, uh, they're not you know making sure um, that their, their, their house is safe. Okay. That's why the heavenly Father is coming like a thief in the night when you when you least expect it. While you sleep, you're in your comfortable state. All right. Verse three. This is that comfortable state that a lot of you Israelites are in. Verse three, when they shall say, when they, so like, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay, so this, all these prophecies happening in your lifetime are going to happen in your lifetime, and you're not going to be able to escape. You're not going to be able to escape the judgment. All right, well, all, a lot of you Israelites out there were partying, bullshitting, and thinking the prophets of the Lord were, were, were uh, um, you know, just talking shit and, and, and all the things, the prophecies that we were speaking of were, were a, a thing that, to come in, you know, in many, many years to come. Hey, this happening right now, and, and you're not going to escape that judgment because you didn't hearken unto the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, verse 4, but ye brethren are not, ye brethren are not in darkness that the day should to overtake you as a thief. All right, the, the, the elect is not going to be in, in darkness. The elect is going to have the truth. The elect is going to have that light. All right, uh, and um, of this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and be able to and be able to discern the times. All right, to be able to prepare for um, the things that are, that are to come. To prepare, all right, as best as they can for Jacob's trouble. Prepare spiritually, not physically, not you know uh, hitting the gym and you know going to the gun range. No, you got to prepare spiritually because this knowledge and wisdom is, is like the scripture says, Isaiah thirty-three and six. Knowledge and wisdom still shall be the stability of thy time. All right. Grab this. Um, this is the book of Hosea four and six. It says, For my people my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also reject will we re I, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I also will forget thy children. All right, our people they lack knowledge. They they lack our people don't even want to understand the, the, the basic of the scriptures, all right? They think they already know, or they think they don't need the scriptures, okay? They don't need the, the Heavenly Father, okay? But, hey, and the scripture says, in the day of thy power, thy people um, shall be willing. All right, in the day of thy power, in the day when these calamities are, are, are coming down amongst you Israelites, you're going to be willing to listen. But, hey, that family of the word is going to come, and you're going to be stuck, left out there. You're going to be left out there to, to pretty much get judged, all right? few more scriptures um it's proverbs 1 yeah, i'm sorry verse 20 wisdom crieth out she uttered her the utter her voice in the streets all right the wisdom this these prophecies these uh, uh you know uh, the brothers out there preaching the word edifying all right building up the house of israel waking up the elect all right wisdom all right it's in a it, hey, you can find an israelite camp in every major city in america okay most sometimes in some cities multiple camps OK, so it's out there. It, it's no excuse. It's no excuse that you didn't, uh, uh, um, you know, you weren't you weren't warned. All right. She cried in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates in the city. She uttered her voice saying, how long ye simple ones will you love simplicity? 
and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. I just read that, that, that people are, people are destroyed from lack of knowledge in Hosea 4 and 6. All right. They, they don't have the, the knowledge and the wisdom of, of, of the scriptures, you know, the knowledge and the wisdom that the heavenly father wants us to have. The heavenly father don't want us to have, you know, uh, uh, cover the knowledge of this world. He wants us to cover the knowledge of, uh, of the law. Okay. So we can live according to the scriptures. Okay. But hey, our people are simple. It's just how long these simple ones will you love simplicity? Okay. This, this life you're living in is simple. All right. But hey, our people, they, they, they pretty much love it. All right. They're used to it. They, they've become accustomed to the wickedness here in America and think they're going to turn a blind eye to like, oh, you know, well, you know, long as they don't come near me. You know, that's what Jake says about the homosexuals. As long as they don't come near, as long as they stay away from me. If you could, if you're not, if you're not condemning it, you condone it pretty much. All right. But that's our people living, 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 being simple. Okay. And the scorners are light and they're scorning and fools hate knowledge. Turn, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. And the heavenly father is making known his words by the prophets in your lifetime. All right. In, right now in this life. All right. So these, when the Heavenly Father is making his words known, don't you think that he's going to make his prophecies known in this lifetime also? All right. Because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. The Heavenly Father is stretching out his hand to you right now through his prophets, through these epistles, these, uh, uh, if it's, you know, these epistles that the brothers put up uh, all through, all, all online, all on YouTube. All right. Uh, um, that, that's the Heavenly Father stretching out his hand to give you a, uh, really the hand of salvation, okay? Because I have called and ye refuse, I have stretched out my hand and no man regardeth it, but ye have set at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof, none of my correction, all right? None, you, you, the Heavenly Father is just doing any and everything he can, all right, before he jacks you up, before he sends his son, before he sends these, and the plagues are already sent. So these, the, the, the scripture says um, uh, in Second Ezra, uh, the chapter 16 chapter, that once the heavenly father sends these plays, he's not sending them, bringing them back. He's not going to say, well, you know, um, I think they, I think they learned their lesson. Let me pull back some of these plays. No, once these plays start hitting, they're going to hit hard. Okay. Because like the scripture said, he put out his hand and no man regarded it, but have set not at all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear is coming, when your fear cometh. All right, so the heavenly father's gonna laugh at laugh, laugh at you niggas when you when you when you scared and you you about to starve to death and you about to eat your ch eat your children. Okay, the heavenly father's just gonna be up there rolling. Okay, because you 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 didn't want to get right. You didn't want to uh, take heed to the prophets. You didn't want to take heed to correction. You didn't want to repent. All right, the men of the Lord, we're gonna laugh at you too when you jakes get jacked up out there. Hey, it's 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 funny to us because you know you were torn. You 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 were torn. You were you were warned. Uh, of the things that to come. You were warned that these prophecies were going to take place. You were warned of the mark of the beast. You were warned of the sedition, the uprisings, okay? You were warned of the chariots, okay? So it's no excuse. You have no excuse in that day, okay? When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind with distress, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. You're going to seek the heaven. You're going to seek the prophets. You're going to seek the heavenly father. You're going to seek the name of the heavenly father and his son. Okay. But the heavenly father ain't hearing you. It's like, you know, you go, you running up to a, uh, uh, you running up to a, 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 a glass door and, uh, someone's chasing you with a gun, a machete or, or trying to kill you. And you're beating on the door and the heavenly father's just looking at you like, nope, you said like the scriptures say, um, uh, they shall call upon me, but I will not answer. And you see him and he's looking you right in the eye. All right. Because you didn't take heed to the prophets. You didn't take heed to this, to the, to the knowledge and wisdom of your high Bashim Yahushai. So all of these calamities and all these, uh, 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 plagues are going to happen in your lifetime to you. Jake's that that's out there that, 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 that think that, you know, this, these, these things, these, these prophecies, uh, the destruction of America, the economic down, the economic downfall, the uh, the famine is not going to happen in your lifetime. It's happening. All right. We're living in those times. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. And I would like to give all praise, glory and honor to you. How about Shem, how about Shai, about Shem, how about Double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.